Howdy, Earthlings. If you step outside in June and the sky is clear, there's a great chance you'll see the constellation Corona Borealis. Stick around and let me tell you all about this majestic constellation. Corona Borealis, also known as the Northern Crown, is located in the sky of the Northern Hemisphere between Boots and Hercules. For some reason, the astronomy software Starry Night left off three stars of this constellation, Beta Corona Borealis, Iota Corona Borealis, and Theta Corona Borealis. I did some research, but I haven't found a reason for this yet. If you know, please leave me a note in the comments below. This constellation is pretty special to me. My nephew's last name is Corona, with a different spelling. And a couple years ago, he and his wife had their first daughter in June. So now when I think of this constellation, I think of it as her crown. She just turned two this month, and I'm already planning to buy her her first telescope. Corona Borealis is mainly made up of seven stars that form the characteristic semicircular pattern that resembles a crown. Alpha Corona Borealis, Beta Corona Borealis, Gamma Corona Borealis, Delta Corona Borealis, Epsilon Corona Borealis, Theta Corona Borealis, and Iota Corona Borealis. They range from 75 light years from Earth to 380 light years from Earth, and apparent magnitudes of 2.21 to 4.63, and come in a variety of star types. Alpha Corona Borealis, or Alpha, is the star closest to us, at 75 light years away, with an apparent magnitude of 2.21. Alpha Corona Borealis is actually an eclipsing binary star. Alpha Corona Borealis A is a white main sequence star with a surface temperature of about 9700 Kelvin and a mass of 2.58 solar masses. Alpha Corona Borealis B is a yellow main sequence star that's similar to our sun in temperature and color with a mass of 0.92 solar masses. These two stars orbit each other, creating a dynamic system that is fascinating to astronomers and contributes to our understanding of stellar evolution. Beta Corona Borealis, Gamma Corona Borealis, Iota Corona Borealis, and Theta Corona Borealis are also binary star systems, with stars larger than our own sun, ranging from blue-white stars to white main-sequence stars. Delta Corona Borealis has evolved from a blue-white main sequence star to a giant yellow star, with its mass 2.4 times that of our sun and 7.4 times our sun's radius. It's considered to be in a more advanced stage of its stellar life cycle. Epsilon Corona Borealis is an orange giant star that astronomers believe has exhausted its core hydrogen fuel and expanded to a larger and brighter size compared to main sequence stars. It's about 1.7 times the mass of our own sun. There are other stars within Corona Borealis that don't make up the main constellation. One such star, Rho Corona Borealis, actually has an exoplanet orbiting around it. Rho Corona Borealis C is a Neptune-like planet that has a mass of 28.2 Earths and takes 102.2 days to complete its orbit. Corona Borealis is also home to a number of deep space objects, including the Corona Borealis Supercluster. The supercluster is one of the largest known structures in the universe, consisting of multiple galaxy clusters. Corona Borealis is also home to a number of deep sky objects listed in the Messier catalog, as well as other astronomical catalogs. These objects include a variety of galaxies with varying magnitudes and are part of the rich tapestry of the night sky within this constellation. So there you have it. The constellation Corona Borealis is special for a number of reasons, even if it's not one of the more famous constellations in our night sky. This northern crown is home to many, many jewels and treasures, perfect for a little girl growing up with a sky nerd for an aunt. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button. Click that subscribe button for more content from Texas Dark Skies and ding that notification bell to get notifications when new videos are posted. Take care of yourselves 
And in the words of my favorite personal astrophysicist, keep looking up.